Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another video on Bethesda's recent sneaky dropping of a few mods through the back door. Essentially, these three were meant to have been in the last release, but were pulled at last minute for some unknown reason. So in this video, we'll be looking at the brand new Dragon Scale Light Armor mod, which is a creation that adds an alternative variant of Dragon Scale Armor, based on the Blade's free to play game. So first things first, the quest is as always by the now almost legendary in his infamy, the one and only Chris Takahashi, and costs the princely sum of 100 credits, which is $1 or roughly around 85 pennies. Basically, it's cheap as me on a date. And we'll do this in the usual way, a brief run through of the quest, have a look at the stats, and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So let's crack on. And as usual, on downloading the mod, you'll have a miscellaneous quest put into your journal requesting that you read the book at Candle Hearth Hall, the inn at Windhelm, and this will request that you investigate Yogram's Overlook, which is a small ruin and a relatively short journey from Windhelm. Once there, you'll face off with a few skeletons, one of which, which has a key, you need to unlock the chest holding the dragon scale armour, amongst a few other bits and bobs of loot. Okay, so now we have our hands on this stuff, let's take a look. And I think uh, the mod looks great actually, and as with all the, these Blaze crossovers mods, I think the textures should be better considering it's a paid mod. Um, but this seems to be the best of the lot so far, and this one does sit well on the FEMA form. So all in all, I think this is a nice looking mod. So let's take a look at the stats and first, firstly this is a player craftable item with the dragon smithing perk which is great as you can keep upgrading your armour sets as you play through the game. The stats themselves are, uh, the armour has a rating of 47 and a weight of 10, the helmet has a rating of 21 and a weight of 4, the gauntlets have a rating of 16 and a weight of 3. The boots have a rating of 16 and a weight of 3 again. So to put this into perspective, normal light dragon scale armour has the following stats. Now all the weights are exactly the same, but the armour ratings are armour 41, which is 6 less, boots 12, which is 4 less, gauntlets 12, again 4 less, and helmets 17, uh, which is again is 4 less. So this armor set has a high armor rating of 18, which is excellent. And you'll be pleased to know all the light armor perks are fine with this mod. So what do I think of this mod? Well, I like it, it looks good. Though, as I mentioned before, I expect slightly better texture quality for paid mods. But that aside, as I said, it looks fine. And you'll only notice if you start doing close-ups as I do for recording. Uh, the quest is very short but fun. The protection is very good. And you'll be able to get hold of dragon scale armor at a very low level. Plus, you'll be able to craft new sets as you level up all your skills. So it'll probably see you through your whole playthrough if you like. So yeah, I actually do see the value in this mod. And I would buy it for 100 credits. So out of the three armor sets recent release two of the three have been quite decent this one and the daedric set are definitely worth grabbing if you like them anyway i hope you like the video and i'll catch you later love you 